So again, we're going to address another one of these fallacies, you know, that's been out here and this guy's wanting to spin and spew and, and it, it's just absolute BS. You know, if you're going to bring this BS, then we're going to clear the air of what's here and what's not. This idea that people are being promised enlightenment and promised this and promised that. That is, again, the furthest thing from the truth. And I'm not going to have any kind of spin doctor come in and saying that that's what I am saying. I have never, ever, ever in my life promised anybody enlightenment, promised that they would X, make X amount of progress on the path, nothing. And I'll let Siddhananda address this. What have my words been on this subject? What, what is it that I say to people? Um, you've been here 13 years. I'm yeah, sure you've heard it once or twice. Just a few times. <laughs> so, um, God. even in my very first correspondence to Guruji online, I remember her saying there's no guarantee. You know, she talked about the end and moksha and still mind and, and all of that, that that's the end of the journey, you know, when all the phenomena falls away and then it's steady, it's a hash samadhi. But even in that, and I do remember in the beginning, she said there's no guarantee. And like we were talking about, you know, how is she, how does she know how, with each sadhaka, how dedicated they are? Are they doing the practices every moment? How are, you know, how much surrender is there? Um, anything could trigger any anyone at any time to walk away or blow out or blow up. And she doesn't know those things. All she can tell you is this is the journey and this is the end you know be, having gone through every bit of it and coming to that end point that still mind Sahaj Samadhi and, and she can point the way but again if you can go there or not and who knows what all the you know garbage people are going to entertain or not and so she said that a number of times, and I've never heard her once promise anyone enlightenment or say that it's going to happen in this amount of time. Or, you know, for the most part, she can see where people are at and where it's not going to more than likely happen because they're caught up uh, yes. in so many things. Exactly. She can see that, but in terms of someone what time and the exact moment and when oh i get that so many times people will say and i want to know exactly when i'm going to attain enlightenment i say what do i look like a freaking psychic i am not a psychic and nobody is a predictor of the time and hour whether it will happen in this lifetime or it will take a thousand lifetimes there are no guarantees of any of that no one can guarantee that you don't even know it in your own path. You've been walking. I walked it for 40 years. I didn't know the day that I sat down to meditate by the banks of the Ganges it was going to deconstruct that day. I had no knowledge of that. Not even in my own path. And I'm going to know that in your path? How? How? There are no guarantees in life. Again, I can't guarantee you're going to practice, you're not going to practice. I can't guarantee your amount of surrender. I can't guarantee that when the death experience comes that you'll surrender into it. I can't guarantee any of that. I've never made those kind of promises and never would. So again, I do not appreciate somebody coming and making those kind of claims then I'm telling people this and that. Again, you've never been here. You haven't read any material here. Nothing. You haven't talked to any people here. How can you claim to know what is taught here? And you want to make out a mini documentary? Really? A documentary actually is supposed to deal in facts, not your assumptions and your crap. You know, don't be like a monkey in the zoo, picking up your crap, throwing it at people. Because you don't understand what's there. And neither are you willing to take the time to find out what's here. Now, I've gone through the trenches for this path and to set it up to be able to aid people online rather than having them have to travel across the world 
to the other side of the world to be helped. And I've dealt with a lot of shit because of it. And again, one thing I'm absolutely not going to, to you know, bow down to or lay under is when somebody wants to come and try to put words in my mouth that I have never said. I'm absolutely not going to. So thank you for giving me this chance to make clear what this path is and what it's not. It's just, it's amazing. I can never get over that people have the gall and wherewithal to not know you from Adam and then make these proclamations as to what you're saying, what you're doing, what you know, what's in your consciousness, what's not, and they have not even spent one iota of time here. where these words are coming from but not from any anybody here right well exactly so, it's not coming from him yeah. it, it, it's not coming from anyone here he has not interviewed anyone here you know and I don't know what fantasy land you're living in but you need to cut it out this is not being any kind of a devotee of any aspect of God. When you come to a guru and you want to lie and just throw out a bunch of crap without having one iota of fact anywhere, without looking at what's there and what's not, just running your mouth on fantasy and your assumptions people that run on assumptions are being asses okay and they're riding their own high horse to their own destruction because you might be throwing away something that might have value somewhere And Lord, help if you dissuade somebody that could have been helped there by your ignorance. So yes, I've always said, speak up for the truth and you go after what is untruthful. This does not include that the ends justify the means. That does not include that. Okay? So this is nonsense. That is not honored by any kind of spiritual path, what you're doing. I guarantee the universe is not going to honor that. So again, I will say this yet again. Think about what you're doing. Don't bear false witness. Don't make statements as fact which have absolutely no validity at all. Because you're not doing yourself any favors, you're not doing humanity any favors, you're digging a hole. And one you're better to stay out of. It's like the blind leading the blind. Him and Rick Ross cite the blind leading the blind and they both fall in a ditch. You know, there's one such thing as cults and destructive avenues granted. But you don't come in to somewhere and lie and make up stories as if they're the truth and try to drag someone through the mud because if you do that 
You know, I hate to I hate to say it, karma can be a bitch sometimes. You know. And you may not pay in this life, but I guarantee it will come around. It will come around. If you're going to make accusations against people, you better have some facts. Okay? Find out some facts.